Here's meteorologist Tom Atkins. Great to have you here on the 6th. We'll start you out with a beautiful flat iron building in front of the clouds here as you look at the hills and mountains of downtown Warren on our quick fill cam. And then you look at the sunshine on UPMC Park as they've started to play ball here. U.S. Medicam, gorgeous field. Uh, Mike will, of course, be along with more later in sports. Mainly dry tonight, other than maybe a brief evening shower. Temperatures right around 70. Go out to the ball game if you got the opportunity. And you can see how spitty spotty these sprinkles are at this point. We pull it back. This line is fracturing up as it moves into drier air. This means a little more business in uh, Western Ohio. So let's just take a look at this thing. I mean, this is not impressive at all. So let's go West, young man or young woman. See that red thing over there? That's a tornado watch, okay? And that is in effect for portions of Western Ohio and much of the state of Indiana. So that's the red. See that purple thing there? That's a confirmed tornado warning, and that's across the border. That's a tornado on the ground, but it's west of Detroit. And it's about 225 miles away from Erie if you're starting to get concerned. So I say don't get concerned at this point. We're here to prepare you, not scare you. There's no uh, definite ability, or I should say no definite chances that this thing's going to get all the way over there. But you can certainly get some rain and some thunderstorms. And that is why we are in the light green, which is not a severe risk. And the level one extends from about... Conneaut Lake down to Strongsville, but much bigger chances for severe weather as you work your way to the west. And the other thing that's hindering it, look at the dew points here, 40s and 50s. You want to get the dew points into the 60s to really get the atmosphere to cook and juice up for big storms. And that's the closest one to that is Youngstown. So it would likely, that would be the stronger storms, follow a path more to the south. And if you look at our storm fuel potential, sure, thunderstorms are likely when you get green or blue, but they're not up here. And all that nasty stuff is staying down by I-80. So we'll watch for later this evening. And you can see this on our 18 model, 18 hour model here. Towards midnight, yeah, you could get some storms. Might be a little gusty. Certainly could have some heavy downpours. But at this point, they do not look damaging. So let's get you into weather and your health. Not changing much, folks. Molds and grasses low. Trees and UV index high. Air quality remains good. So lake forecast, if you're out and about in a boat tomorrow, maybe some early clouds, then clearing. Waves getting choppy at 2 to 4. Southwest winds at 10 to 20. Our high today, 71. Our low at 42. Rain moves through tonight. The sun returns tomorrow. And then it comes back on uh, Thursday and Friday. But enjoy the beautiful evening. Temperatures in the upper 60s to mid 70s from north to south across Erie and Chautauqua. Well into the 70s, southern Erie and Crawford County. And also well into the 70s in McKean, Venango, as well as uh, Warren County. So for tonight, a chance of an evening shower. Showers or a storm more likely late tonight. Lows along the lakeshore near 60. Edinburgh, Titusville, Meadville, and Franklin. Isolated evening shower, then showers and scattered storms overnight. 56 to 62. Chautauqua, Warren, Forest, and McCain, same deal. Scattered evening shower possible. Better chance of late rain and storms, temperatures dropping into the 40s. So an improving day tomorrow with clouds breaking for sun, temperatures well into the 70s. Uh, rain returns Thursday and it gets cooler into Friday. The better chances for rain over the weekend, I think, is Saturday. Much spottier for Mother's Day or Monday. Temperatures in the 60s through that time and into early next week. You can check out our radar as well as our forecast on the Your Area to Go app. Enjoy tomorrow. Yeah. Sun's coming back. <laughs> All right, thank you.